This is your boy, Lord Peter. I'm here once again with yet another video. Alright, so today we are treating how to reset MTN DoubleNet router. How to reset or reset it to factory settings. A friend has this router and he said it's been a, a, a while since he used it. So um, he has forgotten the password, the, the, the Wi Fi password. And if such happens, the only way out is to reset it. So um, to reset it, make sure you have an office pin, something like this. At times, ladies' earrings too can, can do it. So we get an office pin, we have our adapter. So um, let's power the adapter. Let, let's power our router. So let's turn on our router. All right, so our router is on. Take note, when you, when you turn it on, there's a green light. This light is green. So after about five seconds, it will go to red. All right, it's red now. So. After another about three to five seconds, it will come back to green, meaning that it has finished booting. Okay. Okay. So now let's reset our uh, router to factory settings. You see, there is a tiny hole behind the router, right um, after the telephone port. Right after the telephone port. So we put um, our office pin inside the router, in inside that hole. So. We we'll put on, we we'll put it inside. Now, while the pin is inside, let the let the pin be in, be inside until the all the light in front of the router goes off and comes back again. Now they are off, they are back. Take note. All right. So the moment the lights are back, just remove the pin out of the hole. It will reboot again. All right, so now it has finished booting. Now the rest is to go back to the, to go into the back end of the router and do the configuration. And to be able to go back into the router, we use the usernames and the password, the username and the password behind the router. So if you check behind the router, you see the default name of the router, which is um, Huawei, B612 DD27. That's the default name, the default SSID. To a layman, we will call it the default um, Wi Fi name. So the default Wi Fi name is Huawei B612 DD27. Followed by the Wi Fi um, key, that's the Wi Fi password. Followed by the IP address, that's the URL you use. On your browser to log into the back end of the router, followed by the username you will use and the password. So now from here, let's get our laptop and get in get on with the configuration, the, the remaining configuration. All right, viewers. So as we continue, we have to get into the back end of our router. So let's open our browser. Okay, so um, let's open our browser. So on the browser, on the browser, let's type the IP address behind the router, which is 192.168.8.1. one. After entering the IP address, just hit on the enter key. Okay, so this has happened because I've not connected the router yet. So um, the SSID or the Wi-Fi name, this is the uh, when you click on the um, the internet symbol or the Wi-Fi symbol, the SSID or the, the Wi-Fi name, as I said earlier on, has appeared. So Mean that the router has been turned on so b612 dash dd27 all right so let's click on it let's connect so whilst it is do it is loading 
um well it is loading let me check something all right okay okay so whilst it is loading now after after it after it's loaded sorry after it's loaded or after it has finished loading take note the the the, the device or the router the, the browser should have um taken me to where i have to from here from here when i clicked on connect it should have prompted me to enter the wi-fi password it should have prompted me to enter the wi-fi password okay it didn't prompt me and it connected automatically because i've resetted it before and i saved the password the default wi-fi password into the browser so automatically it picked that password to bring me here so the username is admin lowercase so we type admin and the password is also admin lowercase admin we click on login all right so when you reset a router after clicking on login this is the first page that will now you see okay it says auto update in idle period this one means that as time goes on the backend uh, software this very software of the router will be will be the, a new version will come so if you check this box if you check this box meaning that while the router is idle during this period 3 a.m to 5 a.m the, the old version already on the router would be updated to the new version that's if there is a new version of the software okay so let's click on next let's go to next all right so there's the ssid or let's say the wi-fi name let's say i want to change the wi-fi name to a simple name that i can remember say um Johnson link. Let's say Johnson. Um, Johnson underscore link, something like that. All right. So let's show the password. This password to to me it is it is not easy to remember. So let's change it to something simple. Say. Um, now note whenever you are changing the password make sure or be careful with what you type so if your caps lock is on make sure or put in mind that whatever you are typing is capital letters when the caps lock is off put in mind that whatever you are typing is small letters so whenever you want to log in you just know that whatever the password is is lower either lowercase or uppercase and you can mix them too I'm just saying this because you don't want to find yourself wanting again. So let's say um, we use a word like um, we use a word like uh, what word should I even use? Uh, promotion, yeah, something like that. So promotion. All right. So click on next. Now, is this it is asking you that do you want to use promotion as the same as the uh, Wi-Fi password? Meaning that the password we use to log in uh, log on to this very page, which is admin, the lower case. Now we've changed that one to promotion. And the system is asking us that do you want to use that same promotion as the Wi-Fi password? For me, I always choose yes, so I check this box because to have two different passwords for just one system, at times <laughs> the passwords tend to be plenty. So click yes, or you, you check the box, you click on finish. So after clicking on finish, the system will load success. 
your router has been reconfigured to a new SSID or a new Wi-Fi name and a new Wi-Fi password. So after it finished loading, it will automatically log you out because you use the old logins, the old credentials to log in earlier and now you've changed it so you are no more into the system. Take note, so when you see something like this, don't get too worried. <laughs> it's normal. So you go back to your um, internet symbol or the Wi-Fi symbol, you click on it again. Now you see you have Johnson link in addition. Johnson link in addition. So you click on Johnson link. You click on connect. Now our password, the password we used is what? Promotion. So we type promotion. Promotion. You click on next. That's it. So we are in now. Do not forget this promotion is also the same as the login, back end login password of the router. All right, so that's it. You are seeing this screen because there is no broadband bundle on the router. Take note internet, a mobile bundle is different from broadband bundle, and TableNet routers use broadband bundle. Per my observation, broadband bundles are cheaper as compared to mobile bundles. Alright, so you are seeing this because there is no bundle on the router. Thank you very much. We are done with configuring the router with our preferred um, SSID or with our preferred Wi-Fi name and an easy to remember password. Thank you very much. So if today is the first time you are visiting my channel, kindly subscribe in order not to miss any of my videos. Thank you very much. I'm out.